Hello, I'm High Heel Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my review of Teen Titans Go to the Movies. I give the movie an A+. The movie is based on the cartoon series Teen Titans Go, which in itself is based on the cartoon series Teen Titans, which in itself is based on the Teen Titans comic book from the DC brand. Now, this movie is similar to the show, in which case it's silly and crazy and lots of Easter eggs and inside jokes. And if you're someone like me who experienced the Teen Titans cartoon, which is targeted to a nice wide range of young kids to young adults, Teen Titans Go is designed for very young children, like 10 years and younger. It's lots of slapstick, lots of uh, silliness, lots of nonsense, lots of loudness and bright colors and everything. It's for a very young audience, which put off a lot of fans like myself who enjoy that previous version of the cartoon. But I watched Teen Titans go over time and I grew to appreciate it. I don't consider myself a fan, but I grew to appreciate it over time. So I went to see this movie. I was expecting an okay experience, but I wound up having a much, much better experience than I expected. The movie is about Robin and his desire to be taken seriously amongst the superhero community. Practically every character is apparently getting a movie deal of some sort or another, so Robin wants his own movie or a Teen Titans movie. Well, no one takes the Titans seriously, so the Titans decide they're going to have to start acting seriously, including getting an arch nemesis, because after all, how can you have a superhero movie if they don't have some type of super villain to defeat? In which case, they reintroduce Slade into the Teen Titans, and hilarity ensues. So what I like most about this movie is that it's totally self-aware. They make lots of inside jokes uh, based on the Teen Titans Go series. There are inside jokes about all of superhero uh, movies and comic books. So even if you're not necessarily a fan of Teen Titans Go, if you're a general fan of DC Comics, uh, you'll probably laugh uh, several times. In fact, I laughed so loud that I had to hold myself in and hold myself back. I went to uh, a 4 p.m. first first showing of the movie, so it was just myself and a small handful of people at that time, you know, whereas the regular crowd would come in probably around 7 to 9-ish. And I was just laughing so much that I was like, no, no, I can't, I can't laugh. I don't want to be that guy. I want to be rude to the other families, especially since I'm laughing at many things that the young kids that were in the audience didn't get. Yes, the kids laughed at other things, but they weren't laughing at the things I was laughing at. And I just didn't want to come off as that guy. So you know, maybe I'll see it again in a nice crowded theater. That way I can laugh fully and to not be Buddhist. But yes, there is plenty of Easter eggs, plenty of inside jokes. Uh, I love that music is used throughout the movie. Uh, it is a musical, similar to uh, how South Park, Bigger, Long, uh, and Uncut, where they break into song. Not quite as much, but they do use song a lot. But I also like just uh, little hints of the classic Teen Titans Go uh, theme song scattered uh, in the movie, as well as the theme song from the current cartoon scattered in the movie. I like those little music cues that are found throughout the film. That's my favorite uh, hidden type of uh, Easter egg. But yeah, totally hilarious, laughing my head off, uh, and pretty much made watching all those years of the cartoon worth it. Like, oh, I suffered through all that. Here's this movie, and I have this great, big, wonderful time, uh, even though I thought it was going to be just okay. Much, much better than I expected. The only thing I really disliked about the movie was that Slade is voiced by Will Arnett instead of Ron Perlman. Now, Will Arnett does a fantastic job, and his version of Slade is silly and self retroactive and fits the tone of the Teen Titans Go cartoon and the movie, but 
growing up with the previous experience of the original Teen Titans cartoon, I loved Ron Perlman as Slade. He just had this cool yet menacing voice that was just perfect for that, car that cartoon and that character. So hearing Will Arnett being uh, this character now, while he does a fantastic job and it fits perfectly, I would have much rather had uh, Ron Perlman, especially since it seems that just about every other person that worked on the show and did voices on the show uh, is stayed for the Teen Titans Go cartoon. So it's just weird that all of a sudden you got this other voice providing uh, this classic character. And it makes you wonder if they you slayed in the cartoon series, is Will Arnett going to come back to do the voice or is it just a one-time deal? I mean, after all, Will Arnett also does the voice of Lego Batman. So maybe he has a special deal with Warner Brothers Animation. He's actually uh, the executive producer of this movie. I wonder if he even contacted Ron Perlman about doing the voice. But still, yeah, uh, the excellent performance by Will Arnett. The character of Slave fits this movie. But yeah, I loved classic Slave. I loved Ron Perlman's voice. And I just would have preferred have hearing that. As I was watching the movie, I was reminded of another recent DC animated movie called Batman Ninja. And I didn't like that movie at all. And I was wondering, why does Batman Ninja fail, whereas Teen Titans Go to the movies is succeeding? And there's even a sequence in both movies in which Batman is pursuing someone and the Batmobile becomes one format and then another format and then another format and another format. And Teen Titans is hilarious, whereas in Batman Ninja, it really uh, requires a lot of suspicion and disbelief and almost breaks suspicion and disbelief. So I believe it's because Batman Ninja wants to be serious overall, despite its absurd elements, whereas Teen Titans has fully embraced the silliness. Teen Titans is basically a parody movie. It uh, makes fun of its own show. It makes fun of superhero movies in general. And because of that, fully embracing its uh, hilarity, it works a lot better. Uh, so uh, when it comes to parody movies, it's not done in those type of dumb, for dumbness sake, parody movies like Epic Movie or Meet the Blacks. Instead, it's done in those classic parody movies like Airplane and Young Frankenstein. You know, there actually is a story in Teen Titans Go. There's actually a plot, there's character development, there's a narrative arc, and they just sprinkle funniness throughout the movie, as opposed to just trying to be some type of uh, grouping of Saturday Night Live jokes strung together for 90 minutes. And I enjoyed Teen Titans Go to the Movies much, much better than I expected. So if you like Teen Titans Go, you'll probably like this movie. If you don't like Teen Titans Go, but at least appreciate superheroes, I recommend you check this out at some point. You'll probably laugh a big laugh at least once. But for myself, I enjoy it pretty much from beginning to end. And if you're not kind of that kind of fan, you don't like parody movies, you don't like uh, super silliness, that's okay. Just avoid this movie. Wait for DC's Titans to come on their streaming service that's going to be uh, apparently an R-rated style of Titans done with the uh, sort of Netflix Defenders motif. So, yeah, if you want something super serious, wait for Titans. Otherwise, if you want to embrace the silliness, check out Teen Titans Go to the Movie. I give it a nice, wonderful A+. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or just like, share, and subscribe. Feel free to post any comments you like in the comment section. Once again, I'm High Hill Knight. Thank you for watching. And remember, when there's trouble, you know who to call. <laughs>